Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Cancer. How's everybody? Cancer, how are you doing? Cancer, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you here. Overall energy surrounding Cancer and their love life. Anything else Cancer needs to know? There we go. Messenger of Air. Hmm. It's a little... Be, becoming a little more decisive, making a decision to go after something, okay? There's a need for some kind of clarity. Someone may be wanting to clear things up with you, vice versa. Yeah, seven of air. You're kind of up in your head or somebody is about you. Seven of air. Just two came out for you. Someone's in their head trying to make a decision. It's a need for some clarity. You see, this is someone who's up in their head. They don't even see the little the little bird on the lap. All the all the geese and this one little bird are trying to get this person's attention, but this person's up in their head. They're just kind of drifting. So someone's trying to figure something out here. Someone wants to talk to you. They want to clear things up. They're trying to become decisive to get that clarity. Cancer, Cancer. All right, what's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Cancer viewers? Clear messages and guidance. Maybe you're trying to get some clarity about something. You may be rushing away from somebody. You may have rushed into something too quickly. You're rushing out. Maybe somebody was being a player or you just need to run away to clear your head. It could be that simple. But we shall see. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know about their love life? Anything else? There we go. Seven of Swords. Yes. Someone here is trying to figure something out. Now, whether it's you or this person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. This is somebody who wants to win. They'll pretty much do whatever they have to do to win. But this is sometimes someone who's just in their head trying to figure out what to do because they want to win. Like they put a lot of mental energy into it. Maybe somebody was a little bit of a player, being sneaky. Maybe you found out. We'll see. Nine of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely, you've had a tough time here. I feel you're trying to figure out whether to give up on something or somebody's trying to figure out if you've given up on them, if you've moved on. It could go vice versa. And then we have the eight, eight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. So someone's trying to figure out if they should let go, just put this behind and move towards something successful. But this is someone who doesn't want to give up. They want to give you this offer. So, yeah, I think you got someone chasing after you. I think they're trying to figure out something. They want to win, though. This is generally someone who wants to win, and they don't want to let go. This is someone who doesn't give up, but they're trying to figure out if you have given up, if you've moved on, maybe accepted another offer. But you also are trying to figure something out, Cancer. I just feel it. Yeah, we have Temperance. We have the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Patience. Yeah, you're not very patient. <laughs> you may have some Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. Looks uh, looks like some Sag energy. You know what you want. This is the thing. Maybe you're trying to figure out what you want. You're not sure right now. It's quite possible you're in your head trying to figure out what it is you actually want. Should you give up on someone or you should wait for them to come in and make you an offer? Yeah, it could go both ways. Oh my goodness. I don't think you've given up on love. There's, you know, it's also an energy of someone putting, having a really tough time, feeling really beat up, maybe let down, maybe somebody, you feel someone's a bit of a player. You're thinking maybe of just letting go and moving towards another person. You may have somebody else coming in, but it's telling you to be very patient, temper your thoughts, your emotions, your words. I feel like if you've got Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, you're likely not the most patient person. There we go. Yeah, so there's some indecision here. Can't see a way forward. You're having a tough time making a decision. Or there's somebody who feels that way about you. Okay, yeah, they want to reach out. There's a lack of reciprocity. So, so I feel as though you're tired of being patient. I feel like you're about to make a decision. 
but you're having you're having a difficult time doing it. You're kind of back and forth, a bit of a crossroads energy, where you know it's time to make a decision, but you're struggling with this. And I think someone wants to know what you're up to. If you've given up on them, they don't want to give up. Somebody wants to reach out. Yeah, you're tired of waiting for someone to reach out. They're slow. Uh, there's a lack of reciprocity. You're waiting for them to reciprocate some feelings. You've been you've been patient, and trust me, if you've got Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is not easy. It's getting you all up in your head, making you indecisive. I think you're thinking too much. Yeah. So, you, and that's enough. If you don't wait, you you feel like you're going to regret it. I actually feel like there's someone here who has some remorse and regrets, or maybe you just feel like there's no hope. Maybe they're waiting for you to reach out. And you're trying to figure out whether you should or shouldn't. It could go that way too. So we have that Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're looking for clarity. You want the truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You're looking into the future, looking for answers. You want the truth, nothing but the truth. You're thinking of cutting somebody out, just kind of ending it. I feel like you're just trying to be honest with yourself too. You're trying to figure out. I think you don't know what you want right now. I do. I feel like you're not quite sure, you know, or somebody is trying to figure out what you want and they can't figure it out. <laughs> it could be that way too. Yeah, I see a couple of people in their heads and here. And the reason why is it's starting and ending that way. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords about? Look at that. Five of Cups, Seven of Swords. Ooh. Someone has some regret, remorse, feeling like there's no hope. <clears throat> Both you and this person. It's like you're going in circles here. I don't think either one of you know really. It's not so much what you want because I feel like you know what you want, right? But you probably want this person, this particular person, and they probably want you. But you're not getting the clarity you need. You feel like it's kind of hopeless. So you're starting to look off into the future. It's funny how we got two cards here. Seven of Swords and this one that depict this energy of being up in your head. Uh, you're just kind of looking out there, looking for some kind of clarity. And I feel it's probably within yourself. And it feels kind of hopeless. Tell me about this Nine of Wands for Cancer. Yeah, you've got somebody here. Yeah, you've got somebody here who regrets not putting in the work, the effort. Some of you have been working really hard on this. Somebody here has been in their head. Probably you're probably going through all this when you're at work, trying to focus on work to get out of your head. Somebody here definitely wants to work this out. I feel like you got somebody coming in. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. There we go. Yeah, going off on it. Someone's worried that, yeah you've given up and you've gone off on a new path they're probably just trying to figure out what you're up to but they this is somebody who feels like there's no hope it's a cup half full but they're in their head this is somebody who wants to win but they've been in their head too long they usually this is somebody who usually doesn't give up i don't as far as work goes you're certainly not giving up <laughs> definitely not you I, I see something very creative if you are ready to go off on a new path. I feel this person wants to come in. They want to put the work in. They want to get on the same page with you. They want to build something beautiful. See, this is building something beautiful from the ground up. There's that pinnacle. That's that energy. Someone regrets this because you may now have gone off on another path, but I don't think you've gone anywhere, Cancer. I feel like you're very much in your power, but I just think you're losing patience, whether you have... Aries, Leo, Sag in your, in your chart or not. It's like you're losing patience, but you're up in your head. Yeah, so there's someone here who's pulling back, seeing things different. Somebody, this person's going to approach you in a different way. This is someone who is a little cautious, uh, patient. Someone's going to offer you love, but I'm not so sure. I think you, maybe you've been waiting patiently for someone to offer that love, to come in and talk to you, and they haven't. Some more Sag energy. Could be you, could be them. You could both have some fire in your chart here, Cancer. I feel as though 
Yeah, I feel like you've been waiting for this person to come in and offer up that love. And I think you're getting tired of being patient. You're trying to temper your thoughts, your emotions, uh, that need to set yourself free and rush on. And you're just a little bit indecisive about whether you should or you shouldn't. And I think this person's cautious too about reaching out because you may have already set yourself free. Yeah, that emotional. Yeah, see, somebody does. They... I'm not so sure you see a way forward with this person, to be honest, though. Like, if there's someone who will make you happy, it's like you're waiting for them to put all the cups in the table. They're indecisive about it for some reason as well. Maybe they're not sure how you feel, if you feel the same about them. Could be that simple, right? So it could be somebody you work with who's been sitting there. This is somebody who's hardworking, boy. They are. This is somebody who's so tenacious i mean this is somebody who just does not give up so if you work with this person you're probably going to be aware who they are they're very hard working they focus on their work uh, very very creative energy somebody who's a really good at starting things six of pentacles there we are yeah so somebody may reach out. There's a it, It's a reconciliation for some, but some of you, it's a decision. I feel like some of you are making the decision to keep looking elsewhere, that it's hopeless. You're looking out there for someone else. I think you're tired of focusing on this person, but you're still up in your head. See? And then you got somebody who's going to make a decision to come in and talk to you. For some of you, it is a reconciliation, or this is someone who's going to reach out to you. It could literally wake you up. <laughs> be a late night or early morning call i see a lot of chat back and forth here maybe a text message something you've been waiting for but i don't know if you can see a future with this person i just i don't know what it is about them yeah two people coming together you're both waiting for each other you're both waiting for the other person to reach out some kind of connection here you're looking out there for a soulmate you want the one I feel like you're still looking because you're tired of waiting. I think that's all this is. You're just sick of waiting for this person. Yeah, you're clearing out negative thoughts, negative energy. You're gonna, you're clearing out your head. You want to get rid of this um, f hopeless feeling. Yeah, you're letting this go. I think you are, but uh, I feel like you've been up in your head for a long time in this indecision, and now it's time to go make yourself happy. And it could be this person coming towards you with this healing, also getting out of their head, healing a situation. Uh, we'll see what's going on. Tell me about this page of air. There we go. Yeah, so there. that's what you're indecisive about, being single or getting into a relationship, going out, meeting new people, going out alone. Ah, I'm surprised that the Leo card didn't show up because Leos like to hunt alone. <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like. You're very sexy and attractive to this person. They see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you as someone who gets a lot of attention. They see you as su very successful, uh, full of adventure, full of fun. Uh, yeah, so you'll go off and make yourself happy. Like they, I don't think this person can bear the thought of it, to be honest, to see you with somebody else. And I feel like that's part of it. And I, But this hopeless feeling, this is somebody who didn't see what they had right in front of them. That's what it's telling me. They didn't put enough effort into it. They were probably getting attention from other people. Maybe you felt this person was a little bit of a player. They, were, they weren't reciprocating. They weren't responding to you quick enough. You might have uh, texted them one evening, never got a call the next morning. I see that like that sometimes too, right? So that's... It's like, I feel like you're just looking for the one. You're, you're clearing this out. And that's what they're thinking you're doing as well, which it looks like you actually are. Yeah, you want love, but you're not so sure if you want to be single. Uh, just get out there, stay single, have fun with friends and family. Some of you are thinking of going on a dating site. It's And it's simple that you're indecisive about that. But I feel there's this energy where you need more clarity. You're trying to figure, I think you're trying to figure out whether if this person comes in, if you actually want to be with them. You may have a lot of feelings, like you're trying to figure out your feelings for this person. And they're trying to figure out if you have feelings for them, you see? So I feel like we just got a couple people who need to talk. Uh, get out of your head and use your voice. It's a card of listening, communicating, not just thinking. And that's what I feel is going on. We got two people who are both waiting for the other person to share their feelings. Look at that. Aw. 
Cancer. This person's trying to, maybe it's them trying to figure out if you have feelings for them, if you still re would re reciprocate, should they reach out? Vice versa. It may not even be a reconciliation. This could be just someone who you work with that's trying to figure something out about you if you because you know sometimes whenever i see this card in a reading like this i see it as someone who's working away and then they look up and see someone looking and they go right back to work i, I see that okay and so some of you that's a scenario yeah this is somebody who is very cautious tell me about this king of cups this person does not want you to get a, go off with somebody they want to because and maybe they want to offer you a trip go somewhere hang out get to know each other it it could go in a lot of different ways yeah see they're looking at all the possibilities they, they know the possibilities uh, they see all the possibilities with you that you're getting attention from other you may have set yourself free you could actually be with another person they don't know and I think you're trying to figure out, you're either trying to figure out if you want to, how you feel about this person, or you're trying to figure out if they have feelings for you. And I think it's a vice versa. Yeah, see, figuring out. That's my figuring out card. Maybe you're worried this person's a player. They have other people. Uh, they just want to stay single. They're coming towards you for attention. You may be pulling back for that reason as well. Way too much thinking here. Boy, Cancer, it's an unusual reading for you. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Yeah. Uh, your cup runneth over with emotion. I think you, you're in love with this person or or you're hoping they reach out to you. I'm not so sure you're going to... I feel like you're waiting for them to reach out. But see, both of you, waiting for the other person, waiting for that... Oh my God, somebody do something. <laughs> Have you ever been party to seeing two people do that anywhere in the workplace and you finally just feel like taking their hands and taking them together and locking them in the room so they have no choice but to talk? That's what it feels like here. It's kind of frustrating to see two people who... I, I think this person wa wants to offer you love, like a, some kind of relationship uh, they have a lot of emotions, but they're cautious because they know it's possible you have other options, other people, because you're so sexy. And they see you as somebody successful that probably gets a lot of attention that way, right? They see you as somebody who could go off and meet somebody very quickly. And then you're sitting down here. I mean, this could be you. This could be you. Take it as it resonates. Trying to figure out how you feel or you're trying to figure out how they feel about you. But you you might be feeling like they're playing you because they're not coming forward because you're waiting. And I feel like you're getting tired of waiting. You're becoming impatient. I think they know you're becoming impatient. It's like you're ready to just get out of your head. You've had enough of this feeling. I feel like it might be, it's a little bit heavy, you know. It's something that needs to be released. Yeah, purging and releasing and letting go, valuing yourself. Some Aquarius energy here. It could be, you know, this person feels like you're out of their league or maybe, you know, that you could both be feeling that way. Yeah, see, this is someone who needs to get release old relationship baggage, whatever it is. And it's about releasing. It's about valuing yourself, loving yourself first. It's two people coming together with a star to heal a situation and start something new. There's clarity. I feel like it's going to happen. Let's see if I can figure out when. Yeah, see, they want to reach out. This person wants to. I feel like you're not you're both not reciprocating. They're not I don't know if this person's just fantasizing or they're trying to make a decision whether they should or shouldn't reach out. And I think it has to do with whether or not they feel you have the same feelings for them. It looks like you do. But some of you, I see a little bit of energy where you're kind of looking into the future, trying to figure out if, if they do come forward, if you want to be single or you want to connect, like I, I feel that energy too. And some of you, it's simple. 
Uh, there's someone who's not reciprocating, so you're tired of waiting. You want your one, so you're releasing them, and you're going to start something new. You're trying to figure out where to go to meet people, and you may be thinking about going alone. Some of you might be a little indecisive about dating sites, talking to people on social media, or just going out alone. Uh, you're definitely looking good. I see you planning something for the future, maybe something social. I see you looking forward possibly to something in the future. Friends, family, some kind of a reunion uh, where you're going to go alone. Maybe this person just wants to invite you to something like that and they don't know if you're single and they don't want to go alone. I see it. It doesn't feel like there is anything bad's happened between you for the most part. It's just a couple of water sign people. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with air in their charts. Boy, air and waves. Two people with that energy. Yeah. There we go. Safety, security, stability. Two people who have each other's back. Two people who are grounded. You both need to ground yourself. You both need to reach out. Um, yeah, I think this person wants something stable. This is somebody who wants somebody who has their back. Some of you, it is a reconciliation. It's somebody you worked with. You may have gone off for another job offer and moved on and they want to come towards you. But they're, yeah, wow, 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 you guys. This is heavy. Feeling the love here, though, let me tell you, like big time. Two of Cups, why is this here? Let's just dig into that. There we are. Yeah, this person's charging in. This person's coming in fast, fiery, and passionate. They're chasing after what they want. They're becoming more enthusiastic about coming and expressing themselves as they move forward, you see. But you're cautious because maybe you've been played before. You're worried this person's playing you, they're, that they're just going to rush in and out. I don't think so. I actually think this person's going to, everything's going to come out in the open. I see it's sort of like releasing negative energy, seeing the positive. feel like you're going to get something you want here or you need to figure out what you want before this person comes forward like if you yeah it's, I there's I think your energy is a little more complicated than theirs right cancer tell me about this knight of rods give me a little more it's not always negative but yeah this is somebody coming in very fast very passionate I feel as though you're going to get a communication from this person I think you're going to be surprised here uh, this person's very enthusiastic I feel like it's sort of building right this is I do see uh, that energy of two people coming together to cooperate, compromise, to build each other up. I think you both need the other to come together and just build each other's confidence up is what I feel. I see this person extremely uh, passionate, fiery, coming in out of the blue. It's going to be a surprise. But your biggest thing is, is that aha moment. What if they come towards you and they don't reciprocate they don't have any real feelings you're, maybe you're trying to figure out if it's real or if they're just going to rush in and rush out again uh, you want justice and balance yeah you want that's just right i think gonna be surprised i think this person's see some libra energy so we got libra and aquarius there's your air <laughs> a little bit of fire here too a little bit of leo energy a little bit of sag energy aries Scorpio, yeah, Taming the Beast, someone here is definitely, some Leo, it's funny how that came out, this person is taming the beast within themselves, yeah, they don't want to rush in, This, although this person does want to rush, they want this to hurry up, they want this to get going, they want to start this, they want to express themselves, they're taming the beast, okay, and that could be yourself too, tame the beast within yourself, temper your thoughts, your emotions, be strong, be brave. And this is that taming the beast is your need to reach out and offer love to this person, to nurture and care for them. And I feel like that's something you're doing. You're trying to be strong and brave. You want this person to come towards you. So I feel like you're you're not going to reach out to them. They have to come towards you. Yeah, you want something traditional. You want them to come towards you in that traditional manner so that you can have faith in this person. You want to make sure you're on the same page, the same path. Very nice. Okay, so it's positive. So I don't see you... A little bit of energy, a player where you're worried that this person's playing you and there's no future, that they'll rush in and out. But I actually don't feel like it's the case. In fact, I think this person's tempering that. 
Okay, they're toning that down. They're trying to use that inner strength. They want to come in towards you. They know they need to come in in a traditional manner, take you out on dates, things like that. Yeah, you want that. You want that. You want commitment too. So we have the three of fire. That's what you're waiting for. Yeah, but you're getting tired of waiting, I feel. And um, I think you're both waiting for the other person. Three of fire, holding out for the one, looking out into the future. You're starting to think that losing faith in this person, you may need to use some strength to move away if they don't hurry up to like move on and go date other people. There we go. And we have, yeah, queen of water. There you are. You want love. You want someone who pulls their weight in a relationship, you know, it's kind of a burden, right? You're just going to let this go eventually if they don't come in. You want a, somebody who pulls their weight, somebody, you want a partner, you want that compatibility, you want that seed, you want to build something beautiful with somebody uh, in a traditional manner, like it's a start from scratch, do things the right way, energy, yeah, things going in your favor feel like it will. I think things will go in your favor here. I do think this person will come in. It's here. It's just going to take them a little time. They're just a little bit indecisive right now about how to approach you. It's at crossroads. So get out of your head. Yeah, ace of water. They're a little indecisive about offering you this cup. You might be indecisive about taking it at first. Just go with the flow. All right, Cancer. Yeah, there's that unicorn, seven of fire energy, right? There's an opportunity here. This person, you could miss an opportunity, okay? That's that unicorn, that's that strength, that's that energy of taking that leap, okay? Taking your guard down and going for it. And I feel both of you need to do that. you got your walls up. You both need to take them down. I wish you the best here, but yeah, I feel they're going to reach out to you. And I think you need to get out of your head. I think you're overthinking it. Uh, I feel as though you are going to be on the same page here. And you're in that energy where you're just not sure, like if you are, if you can be, because that they're not reaching out in a traditional manner. So uh, let me just grab one more. When is this person? Let's see if I can figure out when they're coming forward. When is this person coming forward? What are their plans? Oh, they're manifesting. They have all the tools. This person's, yeah, they're manifesting something. They have all the tools. Once they do their, oh, they're fixing their car first. <laughs> they may be. They're manifesting something, gathering information. They're learning something uh, to come towards you. Once they have everything they need, they will come in. So I don't know what that means. They could be a, somebody who, re, they could have a, own a body shop, repair cars. Uh, they could be fixing their vehicle waiting for it to be repaired before they reach out to you because then they're going to want to come and pick you up so someone who is waiting for all the tools you see here's that information communication manifesting moving forward using all the power they have to control the situation taurus virgo capricorn they could be definitely financially stable. They have all the tools. They are a manifester. This person's used to being in control. They're making some kind of plans. They want to make sure they don't lose control of this situation. So they're coming in very grounded, very practical, and making some kind of plan. So it looks like some Taurus energy there. I do see some possible Virgo energy. It doesn't have to be. And uh, really, it's just that grounded energy. And I think this person just wants to know where you're going, what you're doing, if you're interested in them, and you may be feeling that way as well. All right, so take care, Cancer. I wish you the best on this crazy journey. There's def This person definitely feels like you do. Uh, you're both waiting for the other person to reach out, but I don't think you're going to. Okay, but it's up to you to decide. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye for now.